If you ever had a goal and went after it, you realize very quickly how difficult it is to change any result that we have in, in our lives for a period of time. And so the reason why that happens is because we try to use our will, and this is one of our faculty and mental faculties, we want to use our will to force ourselves to change the behavior. So for example, I have um, a goal to, to, wiz- to lose weight and I think this is something that you know many of you can resonate with. So my habit is eating three times a day and a lot of carbs and some sweets and so I want to change that and I want to, to live a healthier life. So for me to be able to change that, I need to implement something. So how can I, how can I lose weight? Two things, eat less, exercise more, right? You know, lower the intake of, intake of calories and exercise more. And so now, okay, now what I do, I say, okay, I create a plan and I say, I'm, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to start. And on that plan, I have, okay, you, you, don't, you don't take any breakfast, you just jump off of breakfast and, and only have a black coffee or tea in the morning. You know, for lunch, you don't have any sweets uh, and for dinner, you have, you know, less than X amount of calories. And then you exercise, you know, every single day. And then I start on that and I, I, well, I go through that plan for one week or two and then, you know, easily and slightly, I, I kind of, you know, go back to my old, old uh, habit. And, and the reason why that happens is because, you know, whenever I try to force myself to do things, I use my will to kind of force myself on the behavior because behavior is what I'm doing, right? But before... I change the belief about fasting. If I fast, would I be hungry? And if would I be hungry, would I feel uh, the lack of energy, right? Can I really exercise and fast in the same time, right? Because I have a belief that I need energy to be able to exercise, right? Can I really do that? Do I really have the time to exercise every single day? So all of those limiting beliefs that I have about myself and about what I can do, stop me from doing what I want to do. So if I use my time and my will, you know, to change the behavior, to change what I do, it's like paddling upstream, right? You can paddle, you can put a lot of energy and paddle, 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 and you get some, some, you know, some progress. But the moment you stop, the moment you lose focus of that goal, you slide back, you know, downstream. Because you cannot stop the flow of the river. But if you use your will to change the belief about you, the results you can get, fasting, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, your, all the beliefs that you have around that one, it, it will be a game changer. It's like, you know, changing the flow of the river. So one thing is me trying to paddle upstream against my belief, and the other one is changing the belief to work in my uh, in, in on my behalf to, to work for me. So I think here is where the biggest in the secret lies. If we don't use our will to change our behaviors and we do use our will to change our beliefs, we will achieve our goals a lot easier, a lot faster. Because until the belief is changed, there is very slim chances for us to get the goal anyway. So if this is intriguing, we will cover more of these topics during this weekend and the next. And I invite you to join us on our webinar series. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. See you next time.